I mean, this is like a national monument to me. You know, there's not a lot of these left that aren't restored that allow somebody to still build a car. You got quite a collection of cars. We were riding down the road, coming down the hill here, and I saw a black BMW, and then I saw something covered here. I said, there's a car guy that lives here. So thankfully, Bill was home. Bill, thanks for My allowing pleasure. us to your house here. Well, can we start with that BMW? Because that's yeah. the first thing I saw. Sure. Let's, sure. let's go take a look at that. Yeah, I can see this has been here for a while. Yeah, it's been here for a while. And so you bought this, it was a daily driver. Daily driver. To be real candid, what put a halt to everything was seven years ago, I had open heart surgery. And trust me, it you, takes time to get over that. No, I understand, yeah. Now, near me, I live in Charlotte, there are, there are a couple of BMW junkyards. And oh, you could really? probably get a tr transmission. So you say this goes forward just fine. Goes forward just fine, and it'll it'll start to back up. It will not back up a hill, but it'll start to back up. 2.6 liters straight six. 2.5, I think. 2.5, okay. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, you would sell this car? Yeah, I would. And what would you ask for it? No less than a thousand, because okay. it, it's it's salvage is worth that. Actually, the body looks pretty good. I don't know how the floor is, but it, I mean the body looks pretty it, solid. It's pretty. It's pretty sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. RS, okay. Yeah. Rally Sports. And this was a fun car. This was my daughter's first car. Uh huh. It drove back here by itself. Well, it looks a little nappy, but you know, it looks like you can clean it up. Yes. So is this like a 350? Oh, no, a V6, you said, it's right? V6. This V6 is a little larger than the V6 that's in the Trans Am. This is probably a 3.8 liter or something yeah. like that. Let's open the hood. <clears throat> nope, we ain't gonna open that hood. Oh, is it, <laughs> is it stuck? Oh, it, yeah, it ain't going so much. Okay. You know, that was in good shape. I mean, the decal, the wheels, the body color wheels, the fiberglass cladding on the bottom, it wouldn't take a lot to make that a pretty car. So this is a surprise, huh? Yes. And, and I found this the way you're finding it. Oh, in somebody's yard? In somebody's yard, yes. Oh, look at all those ants. <laughs> yes. Mm -mm. And this has the original wheels and everything on it, too. So you just knocked on somebody's door. This was, this was in somebody's yard. Yeah. And so this is a V6 as well. This had a rebuilt motor in it, with less than twelve thousand miles on it. And when I bought it from him and had a burnt valve on the left bank, I replaced the left head, drove it for three years, and then the fuel pump went out. If I were you, I'd leave this uncovered for a while. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So is this car for sale? Yep, let me put it this way. Everything's for sale. Yep, got it. See, there was a time you'd come by and ask me that, and I'd say no. Yep, I get it. Now yeah, it looks to be all there. And the mileage on this is reasonable? Uh, well, the engine's not got 20,000 miles on it. Okay. The car itself's got over 100. Well, this is the era of cars that have been ignored until now. And yeah. now people are going after this, this type of car. Well, to be real candid, if I can find the rear window for this, this will come back on the road before the BMW. Well, you know, if you're riding down the road, and you see one car, that might mean there's other cars being hidden around the property. Bill, thanks for showing us around your little collection. Hey, my pleasure. Yesterday, we're driving in the woody down the road, and boing, I mean, a yellow car popped out of me. I said, and in my mind, I said, that's a Henry J, and it looks like a gasser. Is that cool? AJ is one of the owners, I guess the son of the owner of all these cars. I mean, this is like a national monument to me. I think we got about 80, maybe 80, and about, 62, 63 of them's tagged and drives. Wow. I mean, let's start with that yellow car because that's the car that got my attention riding down the road. Okay. It's a Henry J. It's got four something gears in the rear end, a 454 in it. Dad drove it in high school and then sold it to a guy at Clarksville and he used to race it on Clarksville drag strip. Now it's got a straight front axle. Yep. So this is a real gasser. It is set up to be a gasser. What kind of chassis is that, do you think? I can't remember what kind of chassis is. It flips. Oh, it flips. If it will. Yeah, that's on some kind of chassis. I, I don't know what it is. It Maybe I can't remember what kind of chassis it yeah, is. Yeah. I know it's not an S10 frame. No, it's not. But huh? Now you said you have another Henry J. Uh, right there. That's it's, another one. Yeah, Man. we're putting. A, there's the front clip for it sitting on the ground. So this is in better shape than that one, I guess. Yeah, it is. Now, will this be a drag car or a street car? Street car, it's on S10 frame. We just gotta get that motor mounted. 
Uh huh. So it's just a small block Chevy. Mm -hmm. We got it home and we've had it for about seven years and this is as far as we've got on it. Well, I mean, it seems to have a good body on it. I mean, this is something I didn't plan on seeing a dune buggy. We bought it, it's maybe seen two miles on the road in probably 12 <laughs> years. We couldn't ever get it to run right. You get it running and then it'd start leaking gas. You'd fix that and then the generator went out. You'd fix that and then it wouldn't start. So it's like, all right. <laughs> That one's going on the back burner. Yep, I get it. So there's three cars in this garage. I guess there's a what, mm -hmm. 55 over there? Yeah, it's a 55 Gasser. Another Gasser? Mm-hmm. So a 55 Chevy Gasser, what kind of motor is in that? It's got a 350, I believe, board to a 360. Do you or your dad sell these cars ever? <laughs> no. Just buy them, wash them, clean them, and drive them. We, well, we want to restore them, but we don't ever do it. <laughs> there's stuff sitting everywhere. All right, so let's... We'll work our way through here. This El Camino? 65. Is that that's a good running driving car? <laughs> yeah, it had the original 283 in it. Years ago, Tennessee, it wouldn't ever get cold enough to freeze nothing. One time we left water in the block, cracked the block. I get it. So you grew up in this house, and this is the backyard you played in as a kid. Was there this many cars when you were a kid? 12, 13 years ago, mm -hmm. maybe eight cars here and two in the back. It was all it was, and it was a big drop-off back yep, there. Yep, yep, I got it. I mean, it seems like you're not just Chevy guys. You're not just Ford guys. You're not just Mopar guys. You're like all, all over. Yeah, we like them all. Yeah. Anything we can get our hands on, we'll get it. So here's a Dusty. You were talking about this. Mm-hmm. Is, is that a 340? It's a 318. 318. Mm -hmm. It looks like a great body on here. A little bit of work, but it ain't bad at all. Is this one of the cars that's registered and driveable? Mm-hmm. We drive it quite a bit. Well, that's, a, I mean, you never see these cars as clean as this. So all the people watching this program who criticize me for not paying attention to Mopars, this is a Mopar that I would own. That's a nice one, man. All right, so we got a 57 four door. What's the deal with this one? It's been in the family about 16, maybe 18 years. Dad would put my sister in his jacket and zip it up and she would drive while he would <laughs> shift gears. So it's six cylinder. Mm -hmm. So it's never been modified. It's got wheels on it, but that's it. Yeah, it's got Corvette rallies on it. That's all we've done to it. And, and pretty good body, pretty good floor. Yeah, it's all solid throughout. All right, so here in a row, we have a Mopar, a Chevy, and a Ford, a Comet. So this is a 64, 65? 64. 64 Comet, a two-door. It's got an automatic. So this is a 289 in here? or mm -hmm. 289. 289. Again, that looks like a great body. Do cars in Tennessee last pretty well? I mean, do you put salt on the roads in the wintertime? If they see a snowflake in Kansas, they're going to salt. Most of the cars here is just sun-baked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we, yeah. you get some rust out here, but you don't get a whole lot of rust. A 260, so this is a real early Mustang. Mm -hmm. This was the first V8 you can get in a Mustang, it was a 260, which ultimately grew into a 289 very soon after it was introduced. So is this like a 65 or 64 and a half? Or it's something? supposed to be a 64 and a half. So it, it doesn't look like it's been monkeyed with. It's got the original hubcaps. It's got a C4 automatic. I mean, is it your dad's plan to like restore this car? You don't know. Yeah, pretty much just to have it so you can say he had a Mustang. So here's your second Mopar, a Dart. I believe it's a Slant 6. Uh-huh. It's got some Bondo on here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it does, quite a bit. <laughs> This was kind of an unusual engine that was built. It's a six cylinder motor, but where every other company had a straight six, this one was laid over on its side. It's got intake and exhaust ports on, coming out of the same side of the head. But believe it or not, they made hot rod versions of this motor. You could buy speed parts right from Chrysler. Four barrel carburetor, or you could buy side draft Weber's on here. You can get an aluminum head. But if you look at this thing, it's just And they probably did that to get uh, low clearance so they could have the hood ride lower. Now this is unusual, vehicle certification card. So this must have been when the car was new. Mm -hmm. It's like a warranty card. I believe it was. Keep this plate in holder provided for authorized dealer use only. Isn't that something? I've never seen this in my life. So I'm a station wagon guy, you know that. Here's a 57 Chevy wagon. So this has got a radio delete plate, a clock delete plate. It's a three speed on the column, manual gearbox. What motor's in that? All right, so so this was a real stripper car, but it was a Bel Air, so you had the deluxe trim on this side. Yep. 
So if we, if we just concentrate on 57 Chevys here for a moment, we go from this one, four-door station wagon, to that one, which is a 57 two-door post. This is a pr pretty presentable car. So this has got, if you can see, it's got the gold, gold trim here. This is the more deluxe version. And let's, let's stay on the 57 theme. Well, there's a four-door over here. That's got a three on the tree. Radio delete, clock delete. Isn't that something? So this, hmm, what do they call them? 150s and 210s? Uh, 150s, 210s, and Bel Airs. And then one more, oh, there's a 55. That's rough. You know, the problem with sand deliveries, they, they were used and abused. You know, they were parts getters or whatever they were, and then nobody planned on keeping these things, so. Now they were the Amazon and UPS of their time. Right, yeah. This one, we bought it out of the woods. Whoa, well, so that explains why it's so rough down the bottom over mm -hmm. there, because it was just lying on the dirt. Slammed in the dirt yeah. for years and years. Another 55. You know, there's not a lot of these left that aren't restored. I mean, you know, most of them are restored or yep. hot rotted or something. You don't find them that allow somebody to still build a car. This is rough. It is rough. Someday, son, this will be all yours. Half of it is. <laughs> Range Rover? I mean, you, you even collect those? Uh, yeah, the deal was too good to pass. Mm -hmm. 100 bucks. I said, I got, for 100 dollars, I gotta have it. 100 dollars, and it's got a V8, right? To be honest, never opened the hood. <laughs> well, it, it should have a V8 that was originally an Oldsmobile and a Buick motor, right. aluminum block. Now, they ain't open it too easy, but don't worry about it. All right, so here we have another Ford, Torino. So this is a hot rod. So it's got, you got a floor shift, Hurst. That was one of dad's high school cars he used to ride in with my uncle. No kidding. So how old's your dad? 65. Okay, so he's right around my age. So we probably grew up around the same time. I mean, if you had one of these in the high school parking lot, you were pretty cool. <laughs> That's what he's always said. He said, we were the coolest people in Cheatham County. So have you, have you seen Barn Fine Hunter? I mean, your dad, I guess, has. I've seen it a couple times, mm -hmm. but actually I was just scrolling on YouTube and seen that car and it caught my eye. Yep, yep. Because oh, really? I watched that and I told Dad, I said, I've seen that Woody somewhere. <laughs> so this is an English Ford. Oh, it, it's a uh, panel truck. Mm -hmm. It's a 59. And this was your uncle's? Mm hmm Man, look at those wheels in the back. And so what kind of motor's in here? It's got a 350 small block. I wonder where he found it. I mean, this is a very rare car. I'm not sure where you found it at. Oh, so it's got a roll bar. It's got a fuel cell in the back. It's got big tub fenders. It looks like a, a little Ford panel truck with these two doors in the back. Very cool. And another sedan delivery here. Yep, that one's a 50. And so this is a hot rod. It's got a small block in it? Yes, 350 small block. Thank goodness this is inside because it's a rare car. It's been inside as long as we've had it. I don't think it's been outside more than a couple of days. You got quite a collection of cars. We got several. <laughs> Places like this are rare. You know, if you're lucky enough to meet the owners, maybe you get a tour through their garages and stuff because it's like a little museum, so to speak. Hey, Jay, thanks, thanks for no coming problem. out here. Thanks for staying home this morning and allowing us to come back. And thanks for returning my phone call from the note. Oh, no problem. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to when a Woody's in your driveway. <laughs> you're riding out a country road, keep your hands in your pocket, park your car out in front, don't do anything stupid because you might be on camera. Happy hunting. That's it. Painless, man. Yeah. That wasn't bad. <laughs>